It seems like it was just yesterday. I brought myself to Tuesday morning and found Iron Man. I know I haven't posted in a while, but I was really hoping to make you guys laugh today. So the Avengers were the talk of the town over the weekend, and do not worry, I will not spoil the friend game. The end game. The friend game. <laughs> I'm going to call it the friend game because the end game sounds a little too serious. I have not watched it yet. I'm one of those people who wait for it to come onto Blu-ray. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be a Tuesday morning haul, but I do also want to share with you guys some of the tips and tricks that I learned using these dies. So if you picked up any of these, I hope you guys will continue to watch it because I will give you the SKU number. And I'm also going to show you guys a little trick that is going to make all these dies that you purchase so much easier to use and so much faster to actually complete. Also, feel free to share this video with any of your crafty friends who might have picked this item up as well. So let's go ahead and get started. You might have noticed earlier that there were only three up front because apparently Captain America stood me up at Tuesday morning. I found Thor and Hulk online and I found Iron Man at the store. And of course, I had to complete my set, so I went online and ordered Captain America. That should be coming in next week. But in the meantime, we can definitely still talk about everything else that I found. I picked up this Avengers themed logo, which is actually really cool because you can turn anything into like an Avengers themed item. Talking about scrapbooks, birthday invitations, or even birthday cards. And it's super simple. I will tell you right now, your bestie is going to be the Sizzix Framelits die, particularly the circle one because it's going to be so helpful when you're paper piecing things together. And the Avengers Assemble icon, that's super simple. You're just gonna cut it out in two different colored card stocks. You're gonna pop out all the letters and you're gonna switch them out. So let's move on to Thor, who is the hero of the dance floor. <laughs> It's hammer time. Oh, 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 no. No. Living out a toss in a turn in a dream of what I need. I need a hero. And I kind of put him together and paper pieced him and I gave him like the most flashiest of outfits So <laughs> this is what happened. So I figured he belonged in a disco setting or something <laughs> But if you don't want a flashy Thor, no worries You can always just paper piece him using like solid cardstock like you do here But I will say you have to cut it out quite a few times to actually get all the pieces You're talking about yellow, gray, blue I don't know why I'm naming it out. You guys can probably see it <laughs> But it's a whole lot of cardstock and it does take a while to actually paper piece it this way. And so when I was putting all this together, I kind of realized there's an easier way to put this together, everyone. And it's so simple. You just have to use one colored cardstock. That's going to be white cardstock. And then you're just going to use your markers to color over all of it. So this is actually how I colored up my Thor. And again, just using regular markers. I'm not really focusing too much on getting all of the coloring in done correctly because I am kind of looking through like a lens right now, so. <laughs> I know poor Thor is not gonna come out to perfect standards because I have a tripod in my way looking in through a lens and so it's like really, really weird. But <laughs> anyways, when you take the time to actually color up Thor, you know, it's really not too much of a difference. So this took me like two minutes to color up and then this one, you know, took me a couple more minutes, but 
it's kind of like comparable, I think. So, you know, definitely use this approach if you don't want to waste your card stock. And another element that you might want to keep in mind is actually the face stamp. And I've tried stamping the image on first, and then when I go over the stamp, sometimes my marker turns it like really, really blurry, and I just don't like it that way. I know it's kind of, you know, you put all this effort to kind of color it in, and so it's kind of like hit or miss later on when you finally put the face stamp on. So when you put the face stamp on, you wanna make sure that you actually check your ink out first and test it on a scrap sheet of paper. And then the next part, you just really hope that when you stamp using your acrylic block that it lands in the right place. <laughs> like I said, kind of hit or miss sometimes with that face stamp. And if using the face stamp scares you, then Iron Man is your guy because he doesn't have a face stamp. He has a mask, which is super simple to paper piece as well. If you cut him out just using the die that it comes with, you're gonna get like 1960s type Iron Man, like when he first came out. And then of course, if you wanna upgrade him, you can do some paper piecing with colored cardstock, super simple. You're just gonna need the red, the yellow, and a little bit of the blue. And you can put that together and that would give you like around 1990s Iron Man. But I wanna make Robert Downey Jr. Iron Man. And I gotta tell you guys, metallic paper is the way to go. It does not show up that well on camera, but in person, this is like super cool. Like it looks really, really cool and authentic. <laughs> and if you get all three of them together, you know, they can do a little, you know, jazz hands bit for you there. So I wanted to show you all the different options. So the first Iron Man, again, that's on white cardstock and I'm just using my markers to color that in. And then I went over some of the areas with like a white gel pen. And then the next one, again, that's the paper pieced one, solid cardstock. And then you have the metallic paper Iron Man. Wow. <laughs> And a lot of you probably didn't know this, but if you bought Iron Man, you're actually getting two comic book characters in one. So if you cut it out regularly, that would be Iron Man. But if you cut it out in solid silver cardstock, you can get the Silver Surfer. <laughs> so yes, I used the little surfboard from my dies from this Echo Park set right here. I also had the icon set as well. So this is basically what it looks like cut out without doing anything else to it. But if you use those Sizzix framelits, you can also put that in the back. And then also, if you want to kind of have that outline effect, all you need to do is just cut out the Iron Man sentiment twice, and then you just kind of overlap it, and then you kind of get that outline effect to it. Apparently, the Hulk also wants to make his little appearance on the dance floor as well. So, if you're still watching this video and you're not already, don't forget to do what the Hulk is doing, and that's smashing the subscribe button. <laughs> So the Hulk is also one of those characters that is super simple to make because if you're paper piecing him, you only need three different colors. You're talking about the green, which is the majority of the paper piecing, and then you need his little purple shorts and his hair, and that's simple, right? But if you want to give him a little bit of glitz and glam, you can definitely use metallic paper, but that type of surface really isn't ink friendly. So just cut out another piece of solid green cardstock, stamp that out and paper piece it on top of the metallic. Another issue when you're using metallic paper is that all of the Hulk's muscles are not defined. It kind of just looks like this huge mass of sparkly green glob. <laughs> So you can definitely, you know, go over that with like markers later on if you wanted to. Or again, just cut it out one time in white cardstock and then use your markers to color everything in. I actually picked this one up online, but I know My Tuesday Morning actually had the smaller sized um, Hulks and those were I think around $4.99. And you know, when the Hulk is in his green form, that means he's angry, but we don't want him to be angry all the time. So when he's on vacation to Hawaii, you know, he can send postcards and that's super simple, right? You kind of just change it up, you know, give him more of a tan and put him in some surfer shorts and, you know, just have him relax in a nice setting, right? Beautiful sunsets and everything. <laughs> yeah. And Tuesday morning also had the icons for the Hulk. And again, you can use your Sizzix Framelits dies. And what I did was I actually used a smaller circle and then a larger circle. And you can also mix and match it that way as well. Cause I think it kind of gives it a different effect looking at the border around the icon. And you can also bring that metallic glittery paper back into the mix and do something like this. So the Hulk had a face stamp and Thor had a face stamp. 
and you know what you guys are thinking right now. Could you possibly switch the faces out? So I guess we should put the Hulk's face versus Thor's face. So we're basically just switching the face stamp and I guess we should look at Thor first. So you've seen the original Thor and then Thor using Hulk's face. It's kind of weird. It feels like um, the Hulk doesn't even like the Thor Hulk, right? <laughs> Hulk smash! Hulk smash! Hulk smash! He's doing his best to rub that stamp off. <laughs> and this is another version of Thor as the Hulk. No. 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 Arr, don't make me angry. Please subscribe. Ha 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 